What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, the one and only Almighty Anon, bringing you yet another originally created character from uh, the D and D Beyond app because I am foolish and I pay three dollars a month for it, um, and I feel like sharing these characters that come from the depths of my mind with you. So, quick disclaimer at the beginning of the video: same as I do with all of these, uh, if you decide to use this character in any of your adventures or any of my characters in any of your adventures whether it's a homebrew or an official campaign or even if it's just an NPC if you're a dungeon master please comment it down below I'm so excited to see if these characters go anywhere you're welcome to use these characters exactly as I describe them to you or as uh, inspiration if you want to just use the aesthetic stuff and reroll your own stats all the stats are rolled through the online dice and D&D beyond so without further ado Let's hop straight into the character. Let me introduce you to Rofrith, the variant Asimir Monk. He is a level 20. He has a 13 in strength with a plus 1 modifier, 20 in dexterity with a plus 5, 19 in constitution with a plus 4, 13 in intelligence with a plus 1, 16 in wisdom with a plus 3, and 15 in charisma with a plus 2. He's got a passive perception of 19, passive investigation of 11, and a passive insight of 19. He speaks common, celestial, undercommon, and abyssal, and he's proficient in the skill of insight. He has the acolyte default background. He spent his life dedicated to serving the gods, acting as an intermediary between the gods and the mortals. With that, he also has the shelter of the faithful background feature. Being the gods intermediary has garnered him high respect from those who hold faith in the gods, and they compare him frequently to a messiah. Clerics will always take care of him for free at temples. He finds common ground between enemies trying to work towards peace, often quotes sacred texts and proverbs, and trusts the deities to guide his actions. Everything he does is for the common folk, and he blindly trusts those who profess faith in the gods. How does he do it, you might ask? He's equipped with two darts, a holy symbol, a quarter staff, and a short sword. Now granted he's got his default kits in there, same with all characters, they have their default kits depending on the background and the equipment you choose, but those are the ones that stand out to me that I figure I share with you guys. If you decide to use Rofrith in any of your adventures, please comment it down below. Very interested to see what you guys come up with. Um, you can change the name, you can change the background details, you can reroll the stats, whatever you want to do. I'm super curious. So. Uh, just make sure that you get it approved by your DM, whether it's a homebrew, an official game, some kind of weird uh, made-up version of D&D that you decide to do. Whatever you feel like, comment it down below. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning into this Dungeons & Dragons original character episode. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell so I know every time, sorry, so you know every time I decide to upload or go live. And without further ado, hope you have a wonderful night. Ain't on out. Aces.